Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Purgatory 2. Previously, we met our previous protagonist, who is now basically an overpowered anime character. Alright, gotta handle some spiders. No! Damn, everywhere you look. This place is all covered by spider webs on top of more spider webs. Yeah, this feels about as gross as you expect. And some of the webs are stuck to my shoes, which makes the ordeal even worse. I really want to burn this entire place to the ground. Oh yeah, hey miss. This is another thing that I'm sure is appropriate to ask, but... Were you acquaintances with Emma or something? It's just that that Oliver guy made it sound like the two of you had some history. And you knew Oliver to some degree as well. I see. And that means the three of you all went to the same school together. Huh. That reminds me. Wouldn't this mean that Miss Henry is a student of Ten Judges Academy like me? Let's go back and actually check out the spider cave. Because the left might be the correct route. I think we should avoid going through this hole. Especially since one of the spiders just went inside. Not to mention, we also don't know where it leads to. This is not the time to be reckless. No, time to be reckless. Damn. So many spiders. This hole is large enough for the person to fit through, but it's dark and full of spider webs. We'll have to come at this one later on. Hey, what you doing? So there's a big spider there. No. No, don't, you know, no. Oh my god. Get the axe ready. I don't think things are gonna exactly be peaceful around here. Huh! Huh! You're amazing, miss. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you. Which way do I wanna go? I have options here. Spider options. That Emma, I wonder if she's alright. We both got a glimpse of just how many spiders are in this place. So even if she's still alive, I can't imagine how she must be faring mentally. I'm starting to doubt whether Emma's truly unharmed or not. Yeah, I know we need to hurry. If only we knew where she was taken to. Well, I guess you're right. The only option is to check each nest one by one. And miss, please don't do anything too careless. I'm being too formal. You're saying I shouldn't call you Miss Henry any longer. Uh, so like, Henry? Man, why do I sound embarrassed? She's gonna think I have a crush on her or something. What the hell am I thinking? Who the heck thinks of time- <laughs> Who the heck has time to think about crushes at a time like place like this? I could be such a complete idiot. It's fine for us to drop the formalities. Um, I don't know if this is being too personal, but just how old are you, Henry? I'm your age. Sixteen. You're the same age as me. I just remembered something. There was a rumor circulating around my school about three students who went missing one year ago. They were Oliver G. Lobelia, Lucas F. Purple, and a female student. The third missing student has to be Henry. And for the two of those people from that room to appear right before me. I like how Lucas is just his last name was purple and he's colored purple. It's a very literal world. Now it's no doubt in my mind that Emma's more involved in this rumor than I realized. And his reaction earlier pretty much confirms that. Now that most of them are accounted for, that leaves up with one other person. Lucas. I wonder what happened to him. 
with my luck, Lucas will probably end up being the true mastermind behind all of this. <laughs> you, never, you never know. You never know. Seriously, I'm done with this crap. Also, I'm starting to worry about me meeting one stranger after another. And frankly, I'm annoyed by it. What the hell happened last year between these guys? And since Henry's uncomfortable with speaking, I can't really press her for more details. Anyway, I should focus on her scam now. That could be the correct route. So I will go down this route. Everyone just runs. They just, they just skedaddle. Ah, one of those things right there. You turn, you turn. I guess it's like it's too close. It could still like jump you there. That's the other side. Here. Ooh, shiny. These dangling cocoons. I hope they're not what I think they are. Huh? They're not. Are you sure? I see. Emma isn't inside any of them. The fact that you can tell by just looking at them is reassuring. So let me ask. Do you know what's actually inside these cocoons? Baby spiders? Uh, dead bodies? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? What's this piece of paper? Spider lair map. It's a map. Let's see here. So there's a couple of secret passages, it looks like. And then an extra room. Looks like a map of this floor. This is Spider Lair. I don't know who drew this, but certainly a huge help. This paper probably belongs to one of the victims who fell down here. According to this map, we can go through this hole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. There are way too many spires for me here for me to deal with. I'm gonna kill over now. Pushing that aside. Do you sense if Emma is in this nest or not, Henry? Nope. So she's not here either. Guess we gotta switch the other nest then. Even though I do have Henry by my side. It's best not to push my luck by any fervor by provoking them. Man, they are... They are actively growing a lot of spiders here. This is not Umbrella Corporation. I just see, like, one angry spider. Whoa, it's a dead end. Not only that, I can see one of those things over there. Back it up, back it up. I like our protag. He seems, like, very self-aware of how, like, ridiculous the situation is. It's like, what, what am I doing with this time? I just wanted to go home. Seeing as the spider just crawled into anywhere, let's proceed with caution. Pit? Oh, we gotta go even deeper, really? You've gotta be kidding me. This place goes even further down. Where did they get the money for this? What's wrong? What? Emma is down this way. If that's the case, I guess we have no choice but to keep going. Not like we really have an alternative, right? Which reminds me, if I were to try to do this all on my own, I am certain I would have been abducted by those spiders a long time ago. So having you here helps. I just wanted to say, thanks Henry. And I'm sorry I keep relying on you like this to keep me safe. It's okay if I stay with you a little while longer. 
Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I've made up my mind. Here we go. Having said that, um, is it just me? Or are there no stairs leading down? <laughs> Ow. You want me? You gonna carry me? You go, you, are you gonna princess carry me? Um, Henry. I don't know what you're planning, but you're holding onto my arm pretty tightly. Why do I have a very bad feeling about this? Hey, this isn't time to pull a prank. Come on, be serious now. Hey, stop this at once. Ah. <sighs> Where am I? Huh? I can't seem to move my body. What was I doing? It also kind of smells here. I don't even know how to describe it. Huh? What if I feel scared for some reason? Because you're gonna die. Please, someone help me out of here. Huh? What's making that sound? Come on, think, Emma. Spiders. You went above Oliver and then fell into a large hole. After that, you... Huh? Wait, I think it's all coming back to me. I was protected by these things. There were a whole lot of them. All in black. Ah, oh, now I remember everything. They were spiders. No, 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 no. Someone help me. Help me, help me, help me. Someone, anyone, help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I still have so much to live for. No, no, no. Ah, oh, it's getting closer. Stop, stop, stay away. No. Please don't come any closer. I don't want to be killed. Please don't kill me. Stop. I'm making you stop. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Stay away. Stay away. Hi, it's us. No, 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 no. Stop. Let go of me. Let me go. No. Hey, Emma. Calm down. You're okay. Huh? Is that you, Emma? Yeah, we came to rescue you. Come on, let's get out of this place. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Hey, don't just hug me all of a sudden. My sense of reason is dying. Apple, it's really you, Apple. It's Apple. Right now, I need you to calm down. Just be calm. Then let go of me. I can't move. Apple, Apple. Hey, I'm serious. Let me go. Do you want me to die a virgin? You're so gross, you know that, Ebel. Shove up and die. Then let me go so I can do that. No. Just my luck. Um. Isn't it time you let me go now? Nuh uh. You can let me go now. Fine. Thanks for saving me, Ebel. If you really want to show appreciation, you can thank this girl right here. I didn't do anything. Huh. Are you saying that you finally have a girlfriend, Abel? Okay, that's enough. You can cut the crap. Just go and thank her already. Fine. Over there, right? Um, I don't know who you are, but I want to say Hey, you remember me? I got red eyes now. Cool, right? What's going on? Eh, Henry, is that you? But how did you... What happened to you? It's like you turned into something else. Anime happened to me. Uh, uh-huh. There's something strange going on between them. Maybe I should say something to break the ice. What's wrong? Did you see something weird, Henry? I really like you when you go out with me. Both of you need to settle down. Henry! Henry, I really like you. Will you go out with me? Hey, look, I broke her team in form. Ebel, are you seeing what I think you're saying? There. I was able to get rid of the tension in the air. All I do now is wait to get rejected and we'll be set. Um. Hmm? Hey, uh, I just noticed something. Henry, why didn't you accidentally disappear off too? Whoa, whoa, this is bad, very seriously bad. You need to activate demon mode, like, right now.
Henry's real cute. Like, she's got, she's got, like, a cute personality. Because even after all this, she's not really bitter about it. She's like, eh, I'm a demon now. So life is looking up for me. Yeah. Man, that made me nervous for a second there. I almost thought there was one t a time limit to you being in demon form or something. Sorry for being so dependent on you. Now then, from what I understand, you both already know each other from a while back. It had something significant happen between the two of you. But right now our main goal is to find a way out of here. Even if we have Henry with us, there's no telling when those spiders will plan to make their next attack. Honestly, the thought that there are giant spiders close by is enough to send a shiver down my spine. I already feel dead inside just thinking about it. You feel me on this, Henry? Emma, we can finish this another time. So for now, can the both of you call in a truce? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's get out of here as soon as possible. Notice how she's sticking a little closer to me? Interesting. What Ebel doesn't realize is that Emery's surprisingly okay with him asking around on a date. Hmm. It might get a little complicated when this game is over. Just a little bit. We may die, but not to the spiders. Whoa, it really stinks here. Is that the stench of blood? I seriously don't want to be here anymore, Ebel. Let's get out of this place. I know. We still don't know where the exit is. It looks like we can go further ahead, but I don't know where it leads. Aside from that, how are you feeling, Emma? Those spiders didn't do anything to you, right? Huh? No, they haven't done anything to me. Those are just horrible things. I see. You don't sense anything strange or out of the ordinary, Henry. And that's what I expected to hear from a demon-fied human. That's reassuring to know. A demon-fied human. I really don't want to tread for this blood. Is there any place where the three of us can rest at? I'm getting tired from all this. No more, this has got to stop. I cannot take this anymore. Now it's got me wondering. What comes next after the spiders? All I ask is that we please have no more arachnids or insects. Joke's on you, you're getting super arachnids. Anyway, let's look for an elevator or some stairs. I just want to get back to the ground floor already. Hmm. Could be stones. Keep my eyes open. Da -da 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 -da. Taking the top road. Don't know if this is the right one or not. Subject 01 jurisdiction era. Area, rather. Are we gonna face some kind of weird blood monster? Like it rises out of the thing like a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> uh oh. People. Free me! I have purple hair! Huh? There's people here. It could be that they were kept and put away in here. No, they're test subjects. This guy. Is he trying to say something to us? I can't hear him. The high pressure glass and the walls around here are probably all soundproof. Hey, Ebel. We have to help them out. Is there anything we can do? I'm gonna take a look around. Hold on, Emma. Oh, did you figure something out? It's that... We don't need to help out this guy. Huh? What are you saying, Abel? Henry, Emma. Do any of you read the Royal Capital newspaper daily? 
not particularly know. We see this guy here in front of us. Haven't you heard about the series of murders that happened in the city about two years ago? This man has been arson behind them. Eh? No way. You see this guy's a convicted criminal. Not only that. This guy? He ate my Cheerios. This guy here? Yeah, he's no different from the last guy. He's a criminal too. What was it that he did again? That's right, the paper said he was caught smuggling large amounts of narcotic drugs into the country. Henry, you're a kind and generous person. But no, we can't. We don't know what these criminals are capable of, and what they might do. They could pose a threat to us. Well, maybe not to Henry. Don't worry about it. You don't have to apologize. Eh. How is Abel able, able to have a normal conversation with Henry? We can barely see anything at all. Not only that, they both seem pretty close. And for some reason, that irritates the heck out of me. Ebel's m- I- And moving forward. This guy here? It's just as I thought. Another criminal? Yep. I'm pretty sure this guy was sentenced to death. What for? Pirating Disney movies. If that's the case, then why hasn't he been executed yet? Apple, that's enough. We get the point already. I don't want to hear any more. It's scaring me. All right. What I don't understand is why there's so many criminals here. Isn't there anyone who's just an innocent bystander like us? From what I call what Oliver told me, they were collecting and gathering criminals here. I think it's safe bet that anyone else we meet in this place is probably not a friendly civilian. It'd be best to assume they're either some kind of monster or a convicted criminal. But isn't that going a bit too far? When our lives are constantly on the line, I don't see whatever option we have. You're right. I think I see your point, Ebel. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, that straight lace way of thinking is how we know we're gonna nothing like these guys here. If you were, your thoughts would be much more crooked. What? Yeah, my bad. Got carried away with there. Ah, Ebel, you're such a freaking idiot, you know that. Hi. How about I open this? Okay, that just opens the door. See you later. This machine seems to be working, but I have no clue on how to use it. I also don't see anything displayed on the screen, so I guess it's safe to ignore it. Okay, cool. Later, losers. I'm leaving. Hmm. Yep, as expected. Damn it. What I have a feeling is if someone's trying to lead us down this path. Gee, I wonder if Oliver is. More buttons. This place is obsessed with buttons. There's buttons everywhere. Just buttons. This is exactly like the other one. Is there gonna be a thing that something that can tread through the pool of blood, but we can't? So we're like limited in our movement. Oh, it, it forced a save. That button placement over there, and a fresh of the shutters beneath my feet. I don't know what this means, but I think I'll stand right here just in case. Come on, I don't like this either. I just want to get home soon. In any case, something at least should happen when I press this button. <sighs> Why me? Oh no, why me? Why am I alone? Yep, we are so screwed. Ha 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 Huh, the power just went out. Why did this happen? Hey, you two of you okay over there? 
Maybe it's a garbage disposal instead. Hey, oh, Ebel, what do I do now? This button suddenly stopped responding. Emma, please settle down. First thing you try to look around for anything. While you go do that, I'll check around the. Uh... <laughs> Never mind, no, it's a monster. <sighs> At first, I thought you looked kind of like goofy, but then I saw your actual, like, art, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Never mind. Oh, for Pete's sake. You gotta be kidding me. Why now of all times? And especially when I'm all by myself. Because it's the most funny. God damn it. Ebel, what's wrong? Ebel! What should we do? What should we do? Ebel, he's gonna be. He's gonna be. Skewered. Escape from S001. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, see, they cross blood just fine, but we don't. Where is the button I need to hit? This thing is getting a little closer to me. Whoa! Okay, no, 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 it might come me off. Well, it tried to cut me off at the pass a little. Ooh, it's bad. Ooh. Gotta go in the other direction. No, 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 no. Should be the last one right here. <laughs> hmm. Oh. What more? It's the one in front of their place. Save me! Seriously, save me! <sighs> Bruh. Is that the best you can do, you stupid monster? <sighs> hey. Nothing personal. <laughs> you just Dragon Ball that thing. Am I ever glad to see you, Henry? You seriously saved my hide there. And I helped too! Oh, Ebel, are you okay? You're not injured? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, aside from the fact that I just rant more than I ever have in my entire life. Ah, I'm pretty sure I'm ready for the track and field team now. God, you're such an idiot. Do you even hear what you say sometimes? I'm a sarcastic character. Yes, I do. Shut up. Leave me alone. I guess we can move forward now. If we stand around here a moment longer, we'll end up having another monster coming after us. <sighs> I'll just reload real quick. I just want to see a death CG. <sighs> oh! Okay. No, uh, that's, that's a pretty grim fate. Game over. Okay, let's go. Phew, I'm exhausted. Hmm? You're lending me your handkerchief. Thanks, Henry. You can have my handkerchief too if you like, Ebel. Thanks for the offer. But I wouldn't even know what to do with two handkerchiefs. Don't be like that. I said it's okay, so just take it. Uh, okay. Why am I suddenly so popular? I think this is because I am going down the two timing route. That it's it's changed. Like they they do change the the dialogue and the routes. I think maybe not in, like the important scenes, but like scenes like this. 
Um, Ebel, is it just me? Or does Elver take us even further down? Ah, I want to escape from this reality. Okay, let's be serious here. What should we do? I don't think we're going deeper and deeper into this place. Should we turn back? That's even worse. Well, I hear you. There's no going back anyway. Whoa, that shocked me. Closing like that all of a sudden. The same thing happened with that other elevator door, too. It's like these machines have a mind of their own. Maybe the bastard Oliver is operating these things remotely. If he turns out he's behind us, I swear to God he's gonna get good taste of this metal pipe of mine. That's the ending. We've just called the ending. He gets a taste of the metal pipe. Takes a big old bite out of it. Everywhere you look, there's just blood and more blood and even more blood. Please don't make me go for this anymore. And what a bloody situation. It's bloody rough, it is. Great. You are still alive. I have a feeling you're gonna evolve again, aren't you? Hey, Ebel. Yeah? Did you hear something like a moment ago? Yes. No, I didn't hear anything. What did it sound like? Like a cutscene, maybe? It's definitely something I've heard before. It's like a loud roar. So you recognize the sound and it was roaring? You know, this isn't time for jokes. What about you, Henry? Did you hear anything? So this is no joke, huh? There's only one thing that comes to mind when I think of a loud roar. That's for that humongous monster from earlier. The one that Oliver calls D033. Henry. Think you can handle that thing? You fought as much. So even Enry's demon form can't take on a monster like that. It's gonna be game over for all of us once we run into it. Enry, Emma, we need to get out of this area quickly. As we can. Yeah, let's get moving already. I'm really scared. I feel the exact same way. I'm scared as hell right now. Like, real fucking scared. Ugh, I hate all this. Someone please save us. Um, that's my job. Damn it, what do we do? We have really no choice but to keep falling along this path. Why'd you stop all of a sudden, Ebel? We need to get out of here fast. Take it slowly, Ebel. Take a breather and stay calm. It's only human nature for one to make bad decisions when they're in a rush. First, take a deep breath. Yep. Ebel? Okay, I feel a lot calm already. Henry, Emma, change of plans. Yeah? But first we need to hide. Hide? Are we going to be okay? It's a bit of a gamble, but it's much better than the three of us running around and exhausting ourselves. Come on, we don't have much time left. We need to hide. O okay. Hey, will we be safe in here? Shh, we need to stay quiet. Eh. Henry, get the demon mold. That's better. It's not coming this way. Maybe I was a bit too cautious. I had Henry deactivate her demon form just to be sure. It's not going to come this way, is it? Please go anywhere but here. Is it still out there? Nope. That's good. Thank God it finally left. 
Whew. This is bad for my heart. Anyway, I guess that means the crisis has been averted. For now. We should rest here for a while. Ever since I came to this place, I've been doing nothing but running, falling, and being chased by monsters left and right. I'm quite fed up with it, to be honest. I couldn't agree more. I need to rest myself. On that note, now that we have an opportunity to talk safely, I have a few questions I'd like to ask. Plus, we definitely need to plan what our next actions are. Therefore, I'd like to hold an impromptu meeting. What do you guys think? Sure, I guess? Great. Now then, what should we talk about? Ask him about what happened a year ago. No, Henry first. Henry, I'm sorry. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? I want to know how you became a demon. It's really rad. Yes. Hmm. An axe. And then you took an elevator up to the surface. I like how they keep you in character. They just they they look keeping they're keep, keep me committed to the act. No way. We well, know. You really only have one option. So what else could you have done? I wouldn't worry too much about it if I were you. I would have done the exact same thing if I were in your shoes. Uh did you really understand all that? What did she say? Long story short, Henry is a badass. It's okay if you didn't understand any of that. Actually, it'd be better if you didn't. Whatever you say. Ask Emma. Emma, I'm sorry to bring this up again, but can I ask you something? About what? It's about that rumor from one year ago. I know that you said you'd get to give you some time, and... It's okay. I understand. I only got this far by keeping my mouth shut on the issue, so it's just that... It's just what? It's just that. I don't get what you're trying to say, but this is the time you tell me all about it. Um, you see, what happened one year ago was that... There was a rumor going around the school. It was about a giant monster who wears a mask and lives inside a suspicious building that we call Purgatory. Hey Emma, are you feeling alright? Yeah, I'm okay. So what happened there was that I... ran away. You ran away? Like, from that masked giant monster? Yeah. So from what I gathered, the four of you, Emma, Henry, and Lucas, and Oliver, entered the building mentioned in the rumor. But only you and Henry managed to escape somehow. Hmm? What's this? I get the feeling that Emma's hiding something. Or, well, the truth of the matter is that... I ran away on my own. I left everyone else behind. I see. And that's why, um, when I saw Henry, I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did. Emma, I want you to let you know that Henry doesn't hold it against you and also forgives you. She gets a super, super demon axe form. I mean, it was a good trade-off. Yeah? You honestly forgive me, but think of all the terrible things I've done to you. Even so, she still forgives you. You can really forgive someone like me. See, Henry is pure. Plus, we got an axe form. It's literally a straight upgrade. Thank you. Henry sure is a nice person. On the topic, though, what did you do to Henry? Well, I kind of sent her to explore the purgatory building all by herself. Hey, Henry. Go ahead and smack her. I give you my blessing. That's an awful thing to say, Ebel. I wonder. Does this mean that all four of you survived in the end? So, someone didn't make it. Yeah. It was Lucas. He was killed right before my very eyes. But how do we know that? I understand. I think I can surmise the events that happened thus far. What if the spider, the humanized one, is Lucas? Like, his remains were used for that. So you had Henry entered the building on her own while the three of you were waiting outside. That was when the masked giant monster confronted you. During that struggle, Lucas got himself killed and you ran off by yourself. Does that sound about right? Yeah, more or less. That explains why Oliver is one of the survivors. He was the mastermind behind it all, so there's no way he'd be killed. That's why Henry... 
I'm sorry you had to go through that all alone. And Emma... Yeah? What happened next? I... I was so frightened. So I didn't do much of anything. After I gained my composure, I went out and begged the Knights of the Kiro Capital to do something about it. Nothing came of it. But aren't you a member of the Great House White? So even with your family's stature, the Knights didn't do anything. Yeah, they did nothing. My father as well. Then we just forget it ever happened. I didn't know what was what anymore. The whole capital is in on it. So I took a tired month off of school. And I spent that whole month forgetting about everything that had transpired there. So even the highborns in the kingdom are in on us. Yep, this country is doomed. Well, I pretty much expected this to happen. You know, Emma, it wasn't where you were carrying such a huge burden on your shoulders. That's only because I didn't want to be constantly reminded of it. Yeah, I can see why. That being said, that pretty much solves the disappearance of the free students from Ten Justice Academy. So, what should I talk about next? Next course of action. So here's something important we have to discuss. What do you guys think our next course of action should be? Hello? Something? Anything? We're supposed to be pitching ideas here? Come on, you two! Henry, there's no need for you to be silent on this. Sure, you must have something you want to bring up. He says that Henry has to be completely silent from the very beginning. Here's the meeting. Yep. Honestly. How are we going to manage to escape from this place? One way to look at this would be that if you can't push, you pull. And if you can't climb back up, then try falling down. But how much further down? Hold up a minute here. Ebel, what are you suggesting? I mean, it's the only thing we can do in this situation. We haven't found any kind of elevator that would take us back up to the ground level. And there's no fire escapes or emergency exits to be found either. Between all the spiders and monsters running about, we're eventually going to get cornered and find ourselves with our backs against the wall. I don't know about you, but it seems our current situation is worsening by the minute. So I'll put that into perspective. Why not keep falling down until we've hit rock bottom? There might be an elevator located at the lowest point of this building that can take us back above ground. But, Ebel, I can't stand going down any further. I'm sick of this and I'm scared. I just want to go home. Hey, just hypothetically, let's say we had a guy with us who was a complete utter genius. And if this genius were to take a look at our situation, what do you think they'd say? When this Jesus genius wonder how we reach our goal of getting above ground from here. They would say that we're looking at this the wrong way. We should try a few things differently. We should be looking at it from reverse. We first have to reach the bottom of this purgatory and go from there. To be honest, you and I don't know why this genius would want to do this. However, something has to be done there. Down there, rather. So I have no choice but to believe in them. And I, for one, am going to place my trust in this genius. So what do you guys think about this genius's plan? How dumb can you be, Abel? You really need to hear yourself talk. Shut up. While the genius in question may be fictional, that's still the way a genius brain works. At least I think so. Oh, please don't give me that look. Yes. So you come along with me, Henry? What about you, Emma? Ah... Oh, I know how this thing works. If any of us decides to act alone, it's going to trigger some kind of death flag, huh? This sort of thing happens in novels all the time. So it's not like I have a choice in this matter, especially when I'm faced with my only op one option. Yeah, it does happen pretty often, I come to think of it. So, where to go, Emma? Um, Apple. Yeah? Could you not phrase it like that again for me, please? Did she think I was being sarcastic? Maybe I touched a nerve or something? Well, pushing that aside, I take it that you're coming along, Emma? Yeah, count me in. Alright then. Let's be careful of any monsters and make our way towards the bomb of purgatory. Let's hope there's something something there waiting us. Damn it. The monster's still around. What's the matter, Henry? 
Are you asking if it's okay for you to activate your demon mode now? No, not yet. There must be some reason why D033 was able to track us down to the exact floor and pinpoint our whereabouts. Almost like someone has a camera everywhere. It might be because it's able to sense the presence of our demons like it. The one possibility, well, one of many possibilities I can think of top of my head, is that D033 is being controlled by that bastard Oliver. He's probably guiding it to our location. There's also a chance that D033 is not the only friend on this floor either. If anything, we need to do things on a case by case basis. Tread carefully. Ebel, you've really thought this all through, haven't you? It's only natural when our lives are at stake here. Yeah, no arguing that. Therefore, Henry, I need you to activate demon mode only in absolute dire emergencies. Any other time, you need to be resourceful. Are you with me on this? Great. Let's hurry on. Hmm. Big area. Ooh, blood room. Well, these are not entrances. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Ooh. It's some sort of paper. The door is locked. Let's see if I can unlock with this golden key. No good. I wonder wanted to, it won't open. Guess I gave up on this door. I need a red key. Golden keys for the golden ticket. So we're gonna... That's where you're supposed to go. But... If we calculate it from here, based on the map, that'd be one. He would be off to the... Won't open. Hmm. So maybe we have to go there first. According to that piece of paper we found earlier, this room is marked number one. Now what do we... <laughs> Enjoying yourself so far, Emma. I know that voice. Green hair. Oliver. Would all of you please take a look at the monitor here? I can smell your green hair from here. That bastard. Voyeurism is in pretty bad taste, you know. <laughs> Please don't hold it against me, Evel. For you see, this building has security cameras installed everywhere. Whether you like it or not, I know every move you guys are making. Therefore, I will always be two steps ahead of you. <sighs> that sucks. So the reason why that monster happens to know our location is all because of your doing. Hmm. What monster? Ah, yes, you mean D033. I'm sorry to say that I have no hand in helping it. Like you expect me to believe that. Well, you definitely have a point there. Moving along, I must say you're truly something else, Emil. Why do you say that? The way you were able to rescue Emma in one piece from the Spiners, and how you managed to escape the clutches of S001 and to chase you down. You're certainly entertaining to watch. You're treating this like a spectator sport. You're the epitome of depravity. Hey, Oliver. Please, you don't have to do this anymore. Yes, I do. We're friends, aren't we? Why don't you help us? I'm begging you. Stop all this, pretty please. You see, you don't understand. I have green hair and you all don't. Oh, yes, Emma. Allow me to give you a tip regarding that piece of paper in your possession. Oliver's pretending that Emma doesn't exist. 
Hello, Oliver. Why are you ignoring me? Listen to me. All I'm asking is for you to... That girl never changes. Just as shrill as always. I have no interest in people I deem unworthy. But there is a scrap of hope in her. Hope? I'm very much looking forward to witnessing whatever agonizing death you'll happen into while hearing you draw your last gas, a breath all the while. Nothing too demanding. What the? How could you? Emma, don't pay the sicko any mind. She as if he's no different than the monsters here. Yeah. Now where was I? You said something about giving me a hint about this piece of paper. Tell me what you can. Oh, that's right. Consider this a reward for getting this far. There are 16 squares indicated on that piece of paper. They correspond to the rooms in this area. And the number's written on it. That means you have to go to those rooms in order. Okay. I get it. But there's one last important thing to tell you. In those rooms marked by a number, one person must stay behind. Otherwise, the lock will not be released. Also, this goes without saying. But if a person decides to leave their room, the destination will still be locked. It's a quick rundown. But do you understand my explanation? What you're saying is that one of us needs to stay behind in the room sparked by a number. Once the two of us each are inside those number marked rooms, the third person can go inside the room and mark as a key on this piece of paper. Yes, you understand well. By the way, do you still have the gold key in your possession? You mean this thing? Excellent. Don't lose it. Hey. Oliver, I want to know one other thing. You made some sort of comment a while ago about your intentions. Evel, you should know what my intentions are already. Our purpose in Lobelia is to creep demons. No, that's not what I'm talking about. It was something along the lines of, so why don't we relax and enjoy each other's company until the time comes? What did you mean by until the time comes? <laughs> I never tire of talking to you. All right, I'll tell you. When that time comes, we will all be able to go above ground. Um, so when it's time, you'll help us get back? Oh, maybe not in one piece. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, that's not what he means. There's no way this guy could do that for us. Ebel, I'll only say this to you. Not a single word that comes out of my mouth has been a lie. That is the truth. I have no idea what you're implying. Wait. Go up above ground. We... All... All of us. No. It can't be. You mean the monsters, too. So that's what you mean, Oliver. <laughs> now then, Emma. Did that answer your question? Uh, Emma, what does it all mean? In short, not only will we be going back above ground, but at the same time, this entire place will also be going to the surface. Well, it is Lobotomy Corp. Precisely. Therefore, when that time has come, a huge tower will suddenly be erected in the middle of this country. <laughs> Wait just a minute. What do you mean? What exactly does that mean? At this time, we will call it Emergence of Purgatory 2. Then what about all the monsters that dwell in this building, Oliver? Good question. There's already a countless number of spiders in the middle of the tower. But you already knew this, didn't you? But there's also S001 and D033 and many other T-type creatures that dwell here. And finally, at the lowest level, lies a demon of my own personal creation. I call it D029. You have to be kidding me. There's even more demons out there. Let me tell you this. D-029 is a demon composed of huge masses of flesh. Inside endless swarms of creatures are conceived. If I were to put a number to it, I would say that around 33,000 to 34,000 creatures have already been created. D-029 has played a pivotal role in the emergence of Purgatory 2. We're still working out their IQ and aptitude, but this experiment will give us all the data we need to collect. Whoops, I guess this conversation has gone rather long-winded. Ebel! I shall see you next at the lowest level. I'll be waiting. A string of bad luck. Misfortunes never come singly. Bad things come in three. 
when it rains it pours. William should best express our situation. We're screwed. Don't they all pretty much mean the same thing? You're unexpectedly calm about this, Emma. It's not like getting upset is going to solve anything. You're certainly not wrong. Hmm? What's wrong, Henry? You're asking what can we do? I don't think there's anything we can do. At this point, the only option left is to survive until the time inevitably comes. However, once this building rises to ground level, it's game over, man. Then that monster in the lowest levels, the one Oliver calls D-029, will be the one to take control of the surface. Everyone will perish. <sighs> Can we at least send a message out to our families to tell them to escape? But it might already be too late. But this time my dad, mom, and big brother are probably all worried sick about me. What's that, Henry? I already told you. I don't think there's anything we can do. And how are you going to do that? Seriously? Well, what do we have to lose? What did she say? We're going to kill... She's going to stop this building from rising to the surface. And while she's at it, she's going to do something about D-029. Eh? Well, if Henry says she's going, then I'm going with her. If the only option left for us is to struggle against the odds, then we're going to struggle against the odds of all our might. What about you, Emma? I can tell you what I'm not going to do, which is go off and try to handle things on my own. That is a unanimous vote. Alright, let's push on ahead. First things first, one of us is going to have to stay behind in this room. Let me think this through, Emma. So who should stay behind in this room? How do we say I should stay behind? Okay, first I'll stay here in this room. Emble, yeah, well, you're the leader here. So wouldn't it be better if you left one of us behind instead? Me, <laughs> a leader? No, 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 you got this wrong. Huh? You also think of me as a leader? No, -uh, no way, no way, no how, no, nope, 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 nope. Cut me some slack. I don't care what you say. We agree that you're the de facto leader here. So it makes sense that anyone other than you should stay behind. What do you mean by don't care what I say? Well, fine. That's what you both of you want. And I won't stay behind. 